live and direct from my phone to your ears. <laughs> Welcome to my voice notes. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Are We On Air? Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm so sorry it took me six months to get here, but here we are. Happy 2022. I know it's been a bit delayed, and I know it's a cardinal sin in the podcast world not to constantly feed the content monster, but I prefer gathering quality content that I can stand behind, but also that it can stand the test of time and bring you joy. So here we are with a new little feature, a weekly, let's call it a supplement to our weekly, weekly episode interviews with guests. Yes. But this one is more of an insight as per your request, because that was the general feedback I got from you guys over the past few months, that you'd like to hear more from me and what I'm up to and how I got here and what I listened to and so forth. So I decided to drop a weekly voice message, voice note, voice memo, whatever you want to call it, some sort of diary and just share more of that knowledge and access and entertainment with you guys. So it could be something very interesting that discovered in a week or something less interesting but i'll still share it with you and first of all greetings you might hear the crickets in the background greetings from beautiful jamaica i mean what a way to start the new year and coming to this beautiful island my first time actually and a big shout out to my wonderful host uh, rachel barrett francesca von habsburg and john baker who's the man behind not only the record label but also behind this wonderful hotel called g jam <laughs> not only not putting me just in a hotel room but giving me the mansion where jay-z and beyonce usually stay so i'm very thankful and honored so on that note what have we been up to for the past six years six years six months <laughs> so basically we ended season two in july and i went straight to ibiza as i was working on a project for a club in paris called silencio that you guys might know under david lynch's private club and they did a, a beach house, a beach bar, a beach restaurant in Ibiza. And I was invited to do the music programming and DJ and so forth. I used that opportunity to do our first Are We On Air live performance with the wonderful and beautiful, and talented musician, Belgian pop star, musician and artist, Claire Lafu. <laughs> Roulage des hanches, chaînement de gestes en bouton, un soupçon d'indifférence, mise en évidence des atouts de préférence. Un, deux, trois, quatre, j'en veux encore. Doucement, je me rapproche de ton corps. Évidence ou pas, mon âme c'est à part. You might remember Claire from season one. She, I think she was one of our earliest interviews. And it was a wonderful, beautiful acoustic performance with a beautiful sunset behind her. And it was just pure magic, you know, and I love when these things happen. There's so much you can plan, let's say to eight, up to 80% and then leave the rest to destiny or the universe. And, you know, just hope that the ingredients that you put together into the shaker will come together and create something delicious. And in that case, it happens. And a little shout out to Claire as well. After that, went straight to Berlin in September to do our first pop-up, our, our Are We On Air pop-up, which was pure insanity. I don't know if you follow us on Instagram, but you should, as we will always drop some amazing content, fun imagery and videos from our performances and interviews and so forth. But the kiosk really exceeded all of our expectations. My friends at Grill Royale in Berlin I wouldn't say own, but run this little kiosk right under Den Linden, which is like this iconic promenade in Berlin, right in front of the Brandenburger Gate, which is basically the Eiffel Tower of Berlin. And they were like, here, take it, run it, do whatever you feel like doing with it. So we took that little, it's basically where they 
sell fries and sausages to tourists usually. And we transformed it into this little radio station slash flower shop slash record store slash live stream radio for a good 10 days, which let's make a mental note. <laughs> it's a bit too long, <laughs> but it was worth it. We ba basically started off during gallery weekend. I think it was September 10th with an insane lineup. Our opening act was our friend Wolfgang Tillmans, who was playing his brand new record album that he just released. You should go and check it out. She basically gave us a world premiere at our little kiosk and it's called Moon in Earthlight. Anyway, we after that, we had Alyssa and Gia, our wonderful friends in Berlin DJing, followed by Lucas Abad, who by chance was in Germany for a job he had with BMW in Munich. I love this fucking city. And I just want to have a good time. And little did I know it was also the end of Berlin Fashion Week. So we had a fun little crossover of things and that's exactly where I love positioning Are We On Air, which is a culture, brand, hub, platform, whatever you want to call it, that crosses these bridges between music, art, fashion and hospitality and film as well, you know, and creating these juxtapositions. That's what I'm interested in and having this like kind of very broad lineup and everybody playing their so-called soundtrack to their life to a, an audience, a public audience. It wasn't an RCP event. It was a public street on a Friday evening and it was pure havoc. It was insane. We had tourists there, we had families there and all the cool kids, of course, who knew about it came out and Full on love parade vibes. Fast forward to the second night where we had the wonderful Fiona Zanetti, our dear friend, also come and play. And that I think with the word on the street from the night before and her playing <laughs> it was just pure insanity. <laughs> Going back to that moment of there's so much you can plan and you need to leave something, a little percentage, you know, for something unexpected to happen. Because little did I know that there's this thing called Festival of Lights that weekend where basically there's some light projections happening on major buildings and, and locations in Berlin. So Unter Linden was basically blocked off for cars and it was just like pedestrians and everyone, the moment it got dark, we're talking about thousands of people got, went to check out these lights. And of course, everybody stopped at this kiosk, like, what's going on over here? And us with our little shitty speaker, like a little mini boombox blasting out of this kiosk, had a full-on little love parade situation with hundreds of people outside. And if you check out our Instagram, you'll see, still see these like blue lights in the background, which was basically the police cars behind the kiosk. Um, just navigating the traffic and the people. And then after that, few, and we didn't have a permit. <laughs> so after a few hours, uh, we're like, okay, it's amazing that we got, got, got away with it so far. And I think just before 11 p.m. when we were starting to wind down, the police actually came by and, and just to say in German, was macht ihr hier überhaupt? I which means basically, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> and then music, music off and we switch it off. I took the, to the mic, thanked everybody and everyone had a blast. Anyway, so fast forward, we did this for 10 days, day and night. Of course, me and shout out to our friend Ben Adams, who was working with me on this. Thank God, uh, saved my life. I had an insane lineup of people, which you can check on our Instagram. And there's also a playlist that we made from our highlights, our favorite tracks that we heard that week 10 days it's on our spotify channel are we on air spotify channel as well and then after that i went straight to paris for fashion week which was beginning of october where our friends from maison valentino reached out um, if we or i could curate the music for the show concept not the literal runway show itself uh, as they were taking over a square midst of paris in the marais and they had a show basically that would go in and out and around the square with an audience sitting in the cafes and everything. So I just curated the sound and the atmosphere pre and after the show. And then we also took over one of the shops 
and it was a Valentino bag store, if you want to call it. And we turned that into a little radio store, a radio shop, and where we conducted some interviews uh, with some of our mutual friends. And those interviews you can also hear, obviously, the last two, which is with Camilia Giordana. Bienvenue. Merci, monsieur. Chez Valentino. Mm -hmm. Et are we on air? For le rendez-vous. Chic. <laughs> and uh, Ishan, fantastic French artist. Yeah, I get it. Man. The love, yeah, it's, it's the love, yeah, yeah. you know. And for me, I can I can say uh, that that's the that's a track mm. of love, uh, hurt or uh, well, love. again. Yeah, it's yeah exactly. The, the exactly. You can play with both. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Love that. And uh, and also on Valentino's channels. So a little shout out to Valentino here as well. Well, these were very time consuming and energetic consuming uh, ventures. So that's why I didn't have much time to focus on season three. Plus, it takes time to hustle and hassle all these people to commit to an interview. I always say one out of 10 says yes. So you can imagine how many people you have to knock on, on, on the door to not only if they even they say yes, but also just the scheduling, especially with the, those kind of high profile people takes time. But we fast forward to, I don't even remember what I did in November. Anyway, December, I had a wonderful little situation in Moscow with our friends at Prada. Uh, shout out to Jam Kennedy as well, um, where Prada Mode, which is basically Prada's traveling nightclub uh, that goes around the world to key cities and places for like a day or two uh, with an artist. It's a, it's a, it's a concept between Mutual Prada and an artist of her likes, I guess. And uh, they take over a space or the artist takes over the space and creates something new out of it. And I've collaborated with, with Prada and Kennedy many times and it's always fun. And this time, yeah, I sound designed the, the, that project, which was in, com in collaboration with Damien Hurst, who brought back his pharmacy concept, which was like his infamous restaurant in, in the 90s in London, which was basically a pharmacy, replicated a pharmacy. And I think that he brought it back two more times and it's currently in his, in his um, gallery, his own gallery in London. As I believe. Anyway, Moscow, big shout out to Moscow. Loved it. I mean, I love Russia. The people are it's just pure insanity. It speaks to my heart, and of course, the beautiful women. Um, but yeah, we went some amazing, incredible underground raves, and it was beautiful to see that there's a thriving very hedonistic and real scene there. You know, I mean, they create having something where you can't be in public, especially, you know, the gay scene, the young kids, you know, who just want to express themselves. If you can't do it in public, you know, they have to go underground and it just creates this pressure cooker and you know it creates something beautiful out of it but um, you'll hear more about this story with one of our guests and his name is Rick Owens but more to that in a few weeks <laughs> anyway back to Jamaica oh yeah we're here in Jamaica because I'm conducting more interviews I can't tell you with who yet but you will see very soon or hear very soon but I'm super excited and we hopefully will be doing some more projects here in Jamaica with Awianea aka some pop-ups but more to that later. Again, if you haven't followed us already on Instagram, you should, as we constantly will drop new stuff. And we will also start doing our little shop soon with amazing merch, which we sold out. We sold out of a fridge in Berlin and it sold out our T-shirts and so forth. But besides our We On Air merch, we will also I put together a whole collection of records that are either rare or beautiful um, and fit the vibe. So we'll put them up as well and as you know from all my travels i always buy records so i will sell some of this of my own collection as well so keep an eye on that and of course some art editions from our friends from the show and galleries as well but more soon anyway if you have any questions or want to know anything please send me a dm on our are we on air instagram 
and I will answer it here on our weekly little monologue, my little voice notes. Um, enjoy this. It was real fun. And I can also already reveal who will be our first guest of season three. None other than the legendary, wonderful, amazing, I can't believe I got her, Amanda Leah. Peace out. Peace out.